Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to top 10 countries with the most Americans living abroad. And if I was to guess the, like, the top three countries, I'd probably say like Canada will be number one. The UK will probably be up there. And maybe just some European countries that maybe some of the Americans originate from. Like Germany. Germany is what I think of. I'm going to just guess Canada number one, England or the UK number two, and Germany number three. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe China will be there. I don't know if it will. Maybe not. I don't know. But if I was to guess, they would be the top three. I mean, I don't know where else. Unless I'm just not thinking right now. Would I don't think Mexico would be there. It's possible, but I don't think it would because it's obviously so close. They're, they're bordering each other. But I don't think that would be the case. But I don't know what other ones there would be. It's kind of hard to really think where Americans would move to. South America would probably not. Yeah, they're my three, top three. So I'm going to say, I forgot. You've, I've already said it. UK, Germany, and Canada. But we're going to jump into this and see what it is. I'm going to probably be really surprised, but maybe not. But yeah, let's check this out and see the top 10 countries. And yeah, if you want to see some more of my reactions, links are in the description to my Patreon. But yeah, let's just jump into this. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at where Americans are going when they've decided... What's... What could, no, no. I'm thinking of like the, the state countries, but no. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd probably say them. Maybe Australia, but nah, top three of those ones. Australia will probably be in the top ten, but... ...the United States isn't working out for them anymore. About 10 million Americans live in other countries, not counting the military or government personnel and their families, nothing like that. And that's according to the US. The United Nations says there's only about 5 million US residents living in other countries. Oh, well, the numbers are all over the map depending on how you look at it. Some only count US born citizens that now have or are applying to get citizenship in another country, while some get counted because they bought property or they live in another country most of the year. Basically, we won't have any exact numbers on this one. Italy. I'm just going to give you a range according to the different studies, okay? Since 2006... I've just clocked there's some countries, probably Italy, Spain. They're going to most likely be there ahead of England, to be honest. I mean, I don't know why I'd want to move to England other than the fact that it's an English-speaking country. The rate of outward migration has probably picked easier. up steam. That was until the pandemic hit and, you know, threw everything out of whack. Trends are broken and people stayed put. The numbers on this list are what was reported by the U.S. Census and a couple other organizations up to 2019. So why do people leave the United States to live in another country? Most of the time, it's money. About 60% of the people give that as a reason. They move to other countries for a lower cost of living and more affordable housing. Other uh -huh. reasons listed were politics, family, romantic relationships, and one man listed Nigeria because a Nigerian prince owed him some money and he wanted to stay close to his investment. Whoa. But whatever the reason reason is a lot of oh Americans are moving to other countries to live their life. All right, let's see where all the expats are staying. Number 10, Italy. There we Good go. Food. Thought it'd be a bit higher, but it's still in the top 10. Food, beautiful ancient cities, decent weather for the most part in most of the country, and it's a lot cheaper. When you look at the cost of living according to the world data, they use the United States as the base and they give it 100. Italy gets a 58. This means normal expenses are about 42% cheaper. And I think it's a pretty high standard of living as well. Like Italy, obviously there's places that will be bad like anywhere, but a lot of the time, man, you're living in Italy, I think it's just a simpler life and it's probably just a lot more relaxing, not as hectic. Like living in the US is probably just a lot more just constantly having to do things. But maybe I'm wrong about Italy. I've not actually been there, but that's how I sort of see Italy. But I could be completely wrong. Then here in the United States, if you're living in Italy, the cost of living and the fact that you're living in Italy is why people are moving there. Italy is a very desirable place to live, especially by a lot of, you know, Canadians and Americans. They want to live there. About 60,000 to 82,000 Americans are now living in Damn. Italy long term. Number two, Peru. Yeah, Peru. I didn't see this one coming. This South American country boasts world famous rainforests, beautiful mountain ranges and very inviting people. The people here are really great. But the real reason people are moving here is the cost of living. Compared to the U.S. is 100, like I said before, Peru is at 19.2. I look at it this way. To get 100 bucks worth of stuff in Peru, it costs you about $19.20, and that's compared to U.S. money. There is one warning about Peru. The cities are ripe with corruption. It's pretty dangerous in some parts as well. 
Peru. I was not expecting at all. Bro. And counterfeit currency is commonly given to tourists. I'm sure if you live there a while, you're going to know the difference. And, you know, they probably won't try and scam you. But that's a big thing they do to, you know, Americans, Canadians, whoever moves down there. Between 56,000 and 84,000 Americans live in Peru long term. Damn. Number eight, France. It's France, well, so yeah. I'm sure not many people are surprised Americans are moving there. It's a beautiful place to live. Housing is cheaper for the most part. If you decide to live in, you know, Paris or, you know, the French Riviera, it's going to be a little more expensive. But most of the place, it's a lot cheaper. France has world-class wine, legendary food, and more than enough things to see and do. Their cost of living index number is 65.9. One warning though, the French have a reputation to Americans as being rude. In my experience, they're only rude when you're rude or being stupid. It's almost like they have zero tolerance for stupidity. It may be a little bit shorter fuse with Americans. Between 59,000 and 97,000 Americans live in France long term. Number seven, South Korea. South Korea has been showing up on this list periodically since the 1980s. Sure, they have a crazy nuclear-powered country next door, but that is a minor issue to most moving there. Yeah. Would people in the military count? It wouldn't, would it? Because obviously there's a big mili or there was a big military presence. I think there still is, but I don't know if that would count as being a resident there, so probably not. For some reason, that doesn't seem to bother a lot of people. South Korea remains one of the best places to live abroad for Americans. A lot of Americans land here because of the tech industry and they decide to stay after maybe they don't have that job anymore or their job wants to bring them back to the United States. They get another one in Korea. South Koreans are known for being extremely welcoming towards newcomers. It's their thing. They're very, you know, it's almost like here in the South, we have Southern hospitality. Koreans are very hospitable. Additionally, expats in South Korea will have plenty of things to do outside of the cities. They always seem to have some sort of festival or something like that going on in different places in South Korea. The cost of living index is 54. So really? almost half. I thought it'd be quite a lot higher than that. I thought it'd be like a probably around France, maybe a little bit less or a bit more. Price what you have to pay here in the United States on average. It can Damn. get cold in some parts during the winter, but they have all four seasons, which a lot of people enjoy. The negative thing here is it's still <laughs> technically at war with that. They have all four seasons. What countries don't have all four seasons? I mean, I'm sure that. I guess they just don't have the extremes of all four seasons, right? Like they'll have snowy winters and then warm summers. I guess that's what he means. Crazy neighbor. So it's been over 50, really almost 70 years that they've been at war with North Korea and not much has really happened in that time, but it's something you want to keep in mind. Between 67,000 and 111,000 Americans live in South Korea long-term. Number six, Israel. One of the main motivators. What? for a new life in Israel is obviously religion. That is- Oh, fair enough, but still, I was not expecting Israel to be this high. I wouldn't have expected it to be in the top 10 at all. Isn't the only reason though. Israel has a growing tech sector and a really low cost of living. They come in with a 55.4 cost of living index. One thing to keep in mind, Israel isn't a war-torn desert landscape like Syria or something. If you've watched too much cable news here in the United States over the years, you might think that. Yes, they have had conflicts and unrest dating back hundreds and hundreds of years, but for the most part, it is very rare to have some craziness going on on the streets of Israel. Israel is an amazing country with really nice weather most of the time. That's what draws a lot of people in, cost of living, good weather, and religion. Between 76,000 and 122,000 Americans live in Israel. Number five, Australia. Yep. That's right, the land down under has a whole bunch of Americans. My... They may not want them, but if you live there, you'd never know. They're always so nice. I'm sure some of them can be dick. It's weird how almost every single Australian I've ever met has been extremely pleasant and fun. They're just nice people. Weather and beaches play a big part in the American migration to Australia. Australia isn't as cheap as others on this list with a 78.1 cost of living index, but the beaches, weather, and lifestyle are really why people move here. About 90% of the people in Australia live within 20 miles from the ocean. If you wanna live inland, Jeez. it's not as populated, so you'll find cheaper land, but maybe not cheaper everything else because of shipping and logistics and getting things to you. Sort of like here in the States, we have Alaska. Alaska's got cheap land in a lot of cases, but everything else is expensive because they got to ship it there. Between 114 and 145,000 Americans live permanently in Australia. Number four, Germany. Germany, number four, I thought it'd be in the top three. There's a lot of German Americans 
So yeah, I do think it would be higher. So with the, still, what hasn't been said? Canada, the UK, and I'd probably say Mexico will be, probably be in the top three of them. Believe it or not, a lot of Americans are moving to Germany. You never really hear about that, but yes, a lot of Americans have moved to Germany in recent years, but actually it's been going on quite a while. There's a lot of reasons for this. Germany is a little bit easier on the cost of living compared to the United States. Again, not as much as some of the other ones on this list with a 81.3 cost of living index, but that's really not what's bringing people in. They have a great quality of life and their work-life balance is great, along with an amazing culture. Working hours are shorter in Germany than any other developed nation. Despite <laughs> that, Germany has one of the best economies in Europe. I always see Germany as like the top country in Europe, probably like the Scandinavian ones, but I feel like it's just the UK, but just better, a little bit better at everything overall, which obviously makes it better in general. The only obviously thing you have to get over is learning a different language, but I feel like in Germany, a lot of people speak English as well, but... I always just see it as the, the best country in Europe in terms of like living and stuff. Germany's excellent universal healthcare system explains why people there live two years longer on average than people in the US. Jeez. They've got a great healthcare system. And if you're sick, you just go. There's not, you know, big premiums or anything else to pay. Sure, taxes and all that, but it's a lot better. A lot of people like it there. The people in Germany are happy with their healthcare system. Between 127,000 and 142,000 Americans live in germany number three the united kingdom the united kingdom's number three so number two it's probably going to be canada number one mexico number two unless it's a lot of um mexican born americans that have then moved back to mexico which would make sense but there's a few reasons americans choose to move to the united kingdom one of the main reasons is there's no language barrier a lot of people that have decided they want out of the U.S. will choose England, Northern Ireland, or Scotland because they don't want to have to learn another language, even though a good percentage of all European countries and the people in them speak English. Side note to that, if you visit or move to Manchester, they are speaking English. It may not sound like it at first, but it is in fact. Bro, you're talking about Manchester. Go to Liverpool, then you'll think that, bro. Manchester's not that hard. It's not hard. It's not hard for me, but I can understand someone from another country. But it's still understandable. Go to Liverpool, Newcastle, and then you're going to be thinking, where the hell am I? In terms of, is this England? But fact, English. English. Healthcare, history, and culture are the main drivers for Americans to move across the pond and stay. I mean, after the language barrier thing, the cost of living index is sixty three point one percent in the United Kingdom. It's quite low. Jeez, it is low compared to like Germany and stuff. Which is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. The United Kingdom has between 215,000 and 252,000 Americans living within their border. Number two, Canada. This one's a no-brainer. Everybody knows someone that's talked about moving to Canada. Normally around election years when people really start talking about this. I know they have a jump in Google searches for things related to moving to Canada every single election. <laughs> like election doesn't go someone's way, they want to skip town. Healthcare and being close to the US are the main reasons Americans want to move to the Great White North. Healthcare is one of the biggest drivers for this migration, I mean by far. Even Americans not looking for citizenship cross the border to get their prescriptions every single day in Canada. What? Canadians do pay a good really? amount of taxes for that health care, but at least they're not going broke trying to pay for some kind of surgery they had. I don't know. Don't want to get into that. But one thing I did think was strange, I thought their cost of living, especially with all those taxes, would be a lot higher, but it's not. It's 70.5 compared to the U.S. So, you know, like I said, you can get $100 worth of stuff for $70.50 in Canada. I can't get over how the cost of living in the U.K. is that low. I mean, it's high in general, but... I think it's definitely gone up since because it doesn't feel like it's that cheap. I don't know where that's come from, but maybe it's just where I live, to be honest. Maybe there's just other places in the UK that just bring it down a lot, but that surprised me, to be honest. That's not bad. 270,000 to 312,000 Americans live in Canada Mexico's on number a one, permanent for sure. basis. All right, before we get to number one, action and be a member, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, this and I was putting, I was like brushing Mexico aside before. And I got it so wrong. This may shock some of you and others not so much. A lot goes into why Americans move to Mexico. Cost of living, weather, proximity to the US, food and culture are the main drivers. My guess is probably on the borders, they'll move to Mexico just to live. And then they'll just work in the US and do all that and then move back to Mexico. 
Mexico, sort of go back to Mexico when they finish work. Is that a thing? Maybe I, I'm assuming that could be the case. The U.S. food and culture are the main drivers. One other is family. A lot of Americans of Mexican parents, Mexican yeah. descent choose to live in mexico with family maybe the parents got deported maybe they just decided to go back to mexico as they retired whatever the reason a lot of people born here are choosing to live with their family in mexico these days that wasn't always the case they used to put a lot of effort into coming to the united states and never leaving it's not as big of a deal as it used to be mexico has some serious crime the u.s does too but we often turn a blind eye and accept our crime while looking at mexico like it's some kind of war zone they do have some really bad areas that are run by cartels and things like that i have a friend that i went to high school with who's lived in a small town in mexico with his girlfriend for like 20 years he says it's safer than the u.s where he lives at least Statistically, they are a little higher per capita in the crime area than the U.S., but I'm still sure it's not as bad as most of you think. The cost of living index in Mexico is 26, so like we've said, Cheap. you get 100 bucks worth of stuff for $26 in Mexico. That's the easiest way to look at it. Between 762,000 and 900,000 That's a big jump. Americans live in Mexico on a permanent basis. Well, there we go. A few little surprises, but overall... It it, was, it did make a lot of sense. I mean, again, the two countries closest to it and then England, English speaking and German, which is a lot of people of German descent and stuff. But yeah, this was an interesting look into how many people from the US live in other countries. <laughs> I've lived in South Korea for 11 years and I can honestly say that moving here was the best thing that's ever happened to me. The, co the cost of living is a little higher in the city's Seoul, especially, but overall it's cheaper and easier than living in the United States. Good healthcare, national public transportation, and beautiful scenery. Just gotta learn the language. But if you're moving someone, like, if you're moving somewhere anywhere, to be honest, and they're speaking a different language, the number one thing should be to learn that language because otherwise you're gonna struggle. It's great seeing Americans Im immigrate to other countries and experience different cultures outside the U.S. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And yeah, if you're an American living somewhere else or considering living somewhere else, let me know where that is because I'd be interested in seeing that. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.